You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. Like, that's kind of what this podcast is, I guess. <laughs> Did you see this thing? Yeah, right. <laughs> what about this happened? They killed all the hostages in Gaza, and I think that and maybe it's good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to believe. Is that putting into it or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's Shoot the, the hostages. Right? Get Isn't kill that... the hostages? Is that the right <laughs> side to be on? Isn't that what they did in that movie Speed or something? Yeah. Like, shoot the hostage. You shoot the hostage and they duck and then the other person's there. I never saw Speed. Never saw Speed? I saw Argo. They had Is hostages that they in that, that one. And they shoot them? No, no, no. They, they flee Iraq, I think. Or You're Iran. talking about Iran, another movie with hostages? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a movie called The Hostage also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Samuel Jackson, right? Isn't that one? Was it that No, one? that's The Negotiator. I think it was Maybe. Mel Gibson. Yeah. It was the one where his son got taken? Or is that I don't one? know. Or is that Maybe one? I don't see that one. <laughs> that sounds like a sick else. one. That was Ransom. Okay. I don't know what hostage was. <laughs> I can't wait. I want to see a cool hostage movie come out of the Israel-Gaza thing. Something's coming yeah. out. And with how quick we go with war movies now, it's going to be next year. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's going to still be going on while we get yeah. movies about it. Just get zero dark 30 about fucking just... Hiding in a tunnel, being guarded by babies or something. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on over there? Dude? I don't think the tunnels are being guarded by babies. I don't know if that's the yeah. That's why they keep killing the yeah. babies because they're guarding the hostages. It's, it's not our fault that the guards are babies. You yeah. know, yeah, they're, they're still the guards. guards are babies. <laughs> I only listen to Israeli media. <laughs> the guards are babies. What are you gonna do? <laughs> sure, we could just like probably push them down or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The guards are babies. So we got to blow up the hospitals. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. You ever seen the Negotiator? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. This, <laughs> is, like, does the this is like Ransom or something. <laughs> yeah. It's just like Argo. Which <laughs> it's like it's not. It's not anything like Argo. They all got out at Argo. <laughs> <laughs> world leaders only only okay. able to speak in like movies, <laughs> like <Yeah>. movie plots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, if this hasn't been done in a movie, then I don't know what the outcome is going to be. I challenge. The director of the board to watch The Negotiator <laughs> and then come back to me and say that ignorant shit. Yeah. Director of the board. That was the uh, Carrot Top one. movie, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it, was it Carrot Top? <laughs> I think so. Hell yeah, man. Where he became the director of the board. <laughs> what was his board? <laughs> it's someone's idiot son thing. And was like, it like it was like a board because he's Carrot Top and he's got to have props? He did have, he did have a surfboard. Yeah, he did have props. Okay. It was like a Carrot so that Top was part Oh, really? Movie. Nice. Yeah. And then 90s what? that. Mark, can we pull up some car- <laughs> some some carrot top board movie. Yeah, also, are you I able to make the TV a... go on from there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know if that's true. Are you... Whoa. Whoa, he can. Mark's that's magic. It. Yeah, that's not even going to be on the YouTube part. That's just for us. I know, that TV yeah, we don't on. even have a. We were like all excited to see that One... TV turn. <laughs> One day we'll get that. We're just going to start watching movies now. This is cool. I like that. Um, <laughs> what's up? Also, before, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another smash hit episode of Two Dumb Babies. I'm Willie Simon. I'm Eric Friedman. And this is fucking Two Dumb Babies, baby. <laughs> and we're already going. Yeah, dude. Starting off hot with the untouchable subjects. Oh, yeah. Look at chairman of the board. Yep. He's surfing. Yeah, that was pretty close. Chairman so maybe, of the board, director of the board. So is he like, uh, is he like, oh, man, it's a two. Two out of ten stars. Uh, right <laughs> you know what? Pretty solid for what that cover looks like. <laughs> His only lead role, I think, give him Chairman of the Board 2, Wipeout. <laughs> yeah. He's just jacked as fuck. It's the same thing. He's just strong now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a goofy plot or prop movie. Yeah, that it was sense. back in the time of like Black Sheep and all of the like Chris Farley... Stuff where it's like, look at the idiot, Billy Madison. Look at the idiot yeah, who's going to run a company. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. The Tommy Boy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Black Sheep was a little different, whatever. It's still the like, look at this idiot. Oh, his uh, brother was running for mayor or something. And they were like, we got to keep Chris Farley away because he'll. <laughs> That's again, how come they don't ruin reboot? it? <laughs> I miss like comedies like. Look at this dumb guy do something 
Yeah. That you need to be not dumb for. <laughs> that was the 90s. That's fucking that pretty the 90s, back, dude. Right into the beginning of the 2000s. <laughs> look, at this, look at this moron <laughs> trying to do a thing. That's crazy. He's so dumb. <laughs> you can't do it. I mean, that's even kind of the Simpsons and Family Guy. And like, Yeah. It's kind of what it's born from. Look at this moron try and have a family. <laughs> yeah. I want to see like an Oppenheimer like that. Yeah. Dumb guy Oppenheimer. <laughs> Where they get the job because it's their dad. Their dad's like, can you help me with nuclear fusion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they do figure it out, and it's even worse. Yeah. Or it's the German side. They killed all the Jews that were the scientists, and they were like, we need you to do it. <laughs> 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 He's like, uh. <"Ugh." laughs> That's why they lost the war. <laughs> they accidentally killed. <laughs> they killed all the scientists. Well, so. all the scientists were Jews. We got very <laughs> yeah. confused. Well, we had to kill the. <laughs> we had to kill them. They were Jews. <laughs> you idiot. You guys weren't. You guys weren't it's specific Chris Farley, with your dude. orders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had to kill all the Jews. They were sci- <laughs> they killed the scientists. They were Jews. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like Jeremy Piven. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> It's like the Dean. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had those movies in a while either. It's college. Yeah, college movies. Uh, idiots those in were, college. Now they're all like, uh, I saw the superhero one. It was a superhero like the, college? Yeah, like from the boys thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was Gen, fine. Uh, it Gen V. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was okay. It was, yeah, it was fine. It wasn't very funny. Yeah, a bunch of like. Disorders and other things that kids go through and whatnot. Yeah, done yeah, that's what all the college powers. movies are about now. Are like, yeah. I'm, I have ADHD. Yeah, <laughs> shut up and do coke. Right. <laughs> like, do, do coke and fuck. <laughs> make entertainment cool. fun again. Yeah. Don't make me think about your problems. I have problems. <laughs> we all have problems. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care that you're schizophrenic <laughs> and scared of fucking going to music yeah. school. If these aren't going to be the best years of your life, then I mean, yeah, yeah, these are going to be the best years of your life because the uh, the disease hasn't taken over your whole brain right. yet. Yeah, it's only going to get worse from here, so <laughs> don't start at the bottom. Yeah, you know? all those guys, a lot of those guys screaming on the street. One time college freshman. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, enjoy the golden years. What a great dean speech at a college! It's like, welcome. Yeah. One in four of you will be homeless by the time you finish college. Yeah. Good luck. These are the best years of your life. <laughs> Those pills will rot your brain someday. <laughs> or they or they'll help. I don't know. <laughs> we don't Depending really on what know. You have. Depending we don't on... know much about <laughs> Anyway, good luck. I'm the dean. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, anyway, I deserve a raise. I saw an article that said um Viagra may help lower the risk of Alzheimer's as far as pills doing weird things. That's funny. That's just a bunch of Fucking rocked up old people. At the... yeah. <laughs> also, like, how did we figure that out? It's like, this is the most lucid I've been in years. Just yeah. Fucking There's bricked. Just, There's just two brothers or something, and one has Alzheimer's, and the other didn't get it. And he's like, well, what have you been doing different? And he's like, well, I take a lot of boner pills. Yeah. Maybe that's what Alzheimer's is. Too much blood in your head. <laughs> yeah. You gotta yeah. dis- redis- redistribute that blood. Yeah, it's hard to have brain Bring hemorrhages. dick. You can't have brain hemorrhages if the blood's somewhere else or something, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so... It feels like I'm coming from, like, underwater again. Just I'm coming headed, out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling great. Alzheimer's And just... I'm so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Alzheimer's just comes from having, like, nothing else to live for. So your brain's like, dude, we don't need any yeah. anything. We don't need to make memories or something like that again. Yeah. What do you mean? Like... You don't need. It's like if you're not getting, you know, you're not getting. Oh yeah, if you're not getting fucking fucking, anymore and whatnot, your brain's just like, what are we remembering anything for? It's over for us. (laughs) (laughs) We used to remember facts so that we could make girls think we were, you know, everything I did was to impress women. (laughs) (laughs) The brain just shuts down. (laughs) There's no reason to anymore. (laughs) It would be funny. Viagra was made for something else in the beginning, anyways. Was it was like made for. It was made to be something for like heart disease or some shit like that. Really? Yeah. I forget that makes sense. Now. Yeah. Too much too much blood in your heart. I think that is how heart disease works. Yeah. Too much blood so in your heart. Close. No, that's not too how much it works. Blood in your heart. 
yeah, yeah. He's got too much blood in his heart. Not too much. It's bad blood. You got bad blood in your heart. Yeah. You need some leeches and Viagra. Yeah. Leeches. That's that was a good time in medical. Yeah. Uh, medical history. Think about leeches though. It didn't make you hard. <laughs> someone. That's someone we, made hard. Yeah. That is true. Guaranteed. Someone. Someone just put that on. That was originally how we probably first tried to like. Uh, to to get rid of STDs, so like I got an STD, my my like dick burns and stuff. And they're like, what if we put a leech on it? Yeah, helps everything else. <laughs> worse, Suck it's out making that it worse. Chlamydia. Yeah. And you just got chlamydia leeches in the <laughs> in the water. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, that's a that's a horror film, probably. Yeah, <laughs> baby, it was the leeches. <laughs> like we got, we went on a fishing trip down I'm the lake. I'm telling you, they the leeches and chlamydia. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I fell in the lake, <laughs> got leached up. <laughs> That's for the sure. The koalas gave me chlamydia. I, know, I was gonna say the, the koalas. Guy. People for sure come back from Australia and try and blame it on the koalas. Yeah, be like, I fucked the koala. <laughs> That's better, I right? I didn't cheat on That's you with cheating. a woman. I fucked a koala. Is that is that better? <laughs> Just trying to wait. That's better, right? <laughs> I, you still look angry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't love her. She's a koala. <laughs> Baby, it was nothing. She was in a tree eating leaves. I don't even know her name. <laughs> I don't think she has a name. She's a koala. <laughs> She had no interest in me. I just grabbed her. <laughs> I heard they have Baby. chlamydia. I had to check. <laughs> I, it was a dare. <coughs> She's not buying it. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, your fiance's here now. Speaking of koalas with chlamydia, <laughs> your fiance's here. <laughs> yeah. She's Australian. <laughs> I don't think she's ever slept with a koala. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be hard as a woman. Yeah. I think. It's easier for a guy to fuck a koala. You can scissor a koala. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, just like... It actually you know. sounds easier than what we would have to do. You know? I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a koala to stay the same for like scissoring, you can just, you can just bend one over. I feel like any animal is going to let you scissor them over, like fuck them in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We got a, we got a, we got a poll. Like <laughs> <laughs> we got a poll for the Patreon. <laughs> and this do koala. Think, do you think, yeah, do you think <laughs> as a man you could fuck a koala easier or as a woman? Go to patreon.com slash shoot on babies <laughs> to answer now. <laughs> no, when she get a, she got in on Tuesday, right? Yeah. That's sick, dude. Yeah, it's Thursday, two days ago. Hell yeah. Yeah, so. Quick, uh, she got through customs real quick. Yeah, yeah, because I think she had like a real criminal in front of her, and so they're like, "Get that guy," and then they're like, "Whoever else is next, you're fine." Really? <laughs> yeah. There's a real criminal. <laughs> was someone who who went into the interrogation room. What were they? Uh, I mean, like, did you did you see it or was just no, like she I, was talking I, about it? No, they don't let me in. Okay, yeah, you're not, fucking not allowed in airports or near schools. <laughs> <or> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just meet me at the in and out. <laughs> You're not gonna come meet me inside the airport. Yeah, yeah think about that. <laughs> That's cool though. Grabbing a guy. That's how you want to do it. You want to get a decoy guy. Yeah. If you're gonna come in. Yeah, she said the the uh, the customs agents were like. Excited about it. They're like, hell yeah, you got that guy. And I was like, oh, that's not good. That's <laughs> They're probably looking for anything to do, dude. Yeah. You're just checking passports of legal citizens all day. You're like, come on, dude, please it does be sound fake. pretty boring. All right, this guy's, this guy's picture's black and he's white. Get him. Yes. <laughs> it says he's 6'4". He looks 6'1". Get yeah. him. Get him. <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> Lying about your height. What those, else do you lie those about? Those eyes are green, not <laughs> hazel. <laughs> Kill him. Your Turn him back and shoot him. Your hair's longer now than it was in this picture. <laughs> I don't know how hair works. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a shitty job doing customs. Any any of the airport guy, I see why they're like, because some of them are kind of mean, you know. Yeah, they're like, fucking put your put your shoes in a different bin, you idiot. Like, yeah. but you know, also. Yeah, put your shoes in a different bin, you idiot. Was it your first time at the airport? Yeah, I know. I feel like we should. And some have... people are like, yes, but then you know what? 
Fuck you. Separate lines. <laughs> yeah. We've got the we've got like the TSA pre-check and like clear and all of those lines now. But I, I was just saying TSA pre-check and those people still didn't know how to fucking be at the airport. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. I need a different I need a line with professional flyers. Yeah, exactly. I need a line with people who are ready to put their stuff in the bin, know what can stay on, yeah. what can't. Nobody stands up right when the flight lands. That'll go yeah. Just professionals. Right. Who know how to fucking do this? Just put, just let's separate it. Everyone, There's... everyone brought their own alcohol. <laughs> yeah. People who know how to fly. No, I just need ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just ice for me, thanks. That's my favorite. I remember one time I brought. Uh, I don't know if I've told the story on this podcast, but I uh, I brought like a little, uh, like during the pandemic, I was flying to yeah. Tampa, and I brought these like little bottles of Jack Daniels. Because this was when they wouldn't serve you alcohol yeah, at all. They right? wouldn't like serve anything, and so. Uh, I get really scared, so I have to drink a little bit. Yeah. Because, like, then if we crash, if I'm, I'm like, if we die, we die. You know, I'm, I don't give a fuck. But I got to be a little drunk. I'll call so cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If I'm sober, I'm like, I want to live, please. It's one sip of alcohol. I'm like, fucking Tavala. Bring it on. <laughs> What's the worst this guy uh, can do? Yeah. So fucking... <laughs> I have fucking braved the fun frontier. <laughs> but uh, I, the lady, like, saw one of the empty bottles. Um, because I like flight her down. I was trying to get some ice for another one, and she's like, "You can't drink here. And if you drink again, if I catch you again, I'm gonna call the authorities." And I was like, "Cool. Can I get some ice?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Yeah, because that's her job, and she yeah. has to do that." But... Yeah, you, you still have to do this, or I'm gonna say yeah. something. Or whatever. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, no, you have to bring me ice." <laughs> yeah, and then chew on the ice. It calms me down. Yeah, chewing on whiskey flavored ice <laughs> yeah. always seems to calm the nerves. <laughs> It's so stupid that they you can have all the alcohol in there, but you're not allowed to drink your own alcohol. It just yeah. doesn't I do get it. I get it, yeah. They want to make money. Well, and also like you could bring anything in those little bottles. You know what I mean? Like Sure. You could be fucking flying on some crazy shit. You know what I mean? Like I do get where I mean, they're like, at least we know this is alcohol. Yeah. But like I'm not doing fucking PCP. I'm just bringing yeah, fair. I'm cool. They're not cool. I get why you're not doing it for everyone uh, yeah. else, but I'm cool. Don't worry. <laughs> you know Whoever's I mean? doing PCP to fly, that's a <laughs> that's a whole other. That person should not be in the sky. Yeah, or like I don't know. You probably can't drink PCP, but like you know, you do a vial of acid. Yeah, and acid. Yeah, that'd be <sighs> that'd be pretty wild too. But yeah, I mean, at the same time, it's like they can do that still. Just fucking dump it in your hand or put yeah. that on your like. That's easier to do than just drinking alcohol. You're you're like guessing that maybe there's something that someone else could do, even though it's not likely at all. Yeah, that and is they true. Could still do it. I don't think it was a rule before the pandemic either. It was. was. It? Yeah. You, oh, it was you, you never, still couldn't? You were never allowed to drink your own alcohol. Really? On flights? Yeah. Man. Well, they were always like, "Well, I was doing it." Yeah. <laughs> like it was. It was always no. You gotta. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people. I'm not you saying people fucking... didn't do it. It was the right way to go, but it was always a like, "Hey, don't do this. You have to buy our alcohol." Same with like going into a bar. They don't want you bringing in your alcohol, except like that's a bar and this is a plane. And you buy if you buy in the airport, it's like, "Hey, man, you guys should work together or something." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can get drunk at the airport. They don't yeah. care about. Yeah, yeah. I guess maybe it is just a money thing. But you know, you ever try to buy a ton of those? You look no. fucking insane, dude. <laughs> yeah. You go to like the liquor store. I remember I was flying and I was like, I'm going to get like, I'll get like eight. So I have a couple for the flight there. Cause it's like a long flight. I'm like, I'll get a couple for there and then a couple for the way back. And, uh, I'm grabbing them and the guy behind the register is like, Hey man, if you just buy like the little one, it's actually cheaper if you want that. And all these like people in line are like staring at me. It's like, no, 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 I'm flying. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well then, yeah. Fucking just take all the. <laughs> yeah. You just want to fill your backpack up with <laughs> liquor, like a fucking alcoholic. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> but in the sky, so yeah. it's okay. Traveling alcoholic. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's cool, much cooler. And like a pilot. He's like a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> this is what pilots drink. <laughs> yeah. Are you a pilot? <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're like impressed. Do you. Did you get different liquors or all the same? It's all the same it's one. Okay, yeah. that's less weird. It's it's weirder or funnier, I guess, if you get like just a bunch of different like grab bag of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of liquors. <laughs> I just want to taste. Yeah, you just only get like raspberry vodka. Like, this guy's <laughs> down on his luck, dude. 
Yeah, yeah, you look like a scumbag buying those things. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I need a, a sip. I just need a. Just a I just need a hit. Yeah, <laughs> a hit of alcohol to get me going. Yeah, just through the day. Yeah, you're like, no, no, no. This is for tomorrow, where I'm going to use a sip at a time to get through the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a specific part of the day I got to get through. Though. Yeah. It's a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no good way to buy those. I mean, yeah, get them ordered. Buy them. Yeah, you can deliver them. I guess delivering things is the easier way of getting anything. Yeah, you know, that's how they make some us. make some Azerbaijani guy look like an alcoholic. <laughs> oh yeah, you're just getting them delivered to you on like a on like Postmates. Postmates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the the places still get the order from Postmates and whatnot. They know it's some other piece of shit going in. Going <laughs> yeah, right. Piece of shit getting it. Like Instacart it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Just be like, hey, get the fuck over. <laughs> Buy me a ton of tiny liquors. Dude, we were getting so much alcohol sent that way during lockdown and whatnot. <laughs> Everyone kept looking. They're like, going to have a party? I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, I got you. Not, not having a party. Yeah, like, cool, dude. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like actually. Two of us are going to drink this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the fucking pandemic was uh it's a good time to waste your fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> we did stuff during it. Yeah, that's true. I think the drinking helped kept keep us doing stuff. Yeah. I think if I, I think if I wasn't drinking through a lot of it, I would have been much more depressed and not caring to do anything. That is true, yeah. I would be like, doing all this stuff's pointless, but when we were drinking, I'm like, this is kind of fun still. There was a freedom in doing things because there was no hope in anything succeeding. <laughs> so you're just like, we're really just doing stuff to do stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, like, for the love of the game. Right? Yeah. Like, that, that just guy. here to fucking just... have fun. <laughs> That's what like stand up was like out here. It was just like everyone doing it was just like, there's no industry anymore. Yeah. <laughs> everyone like moved away. You're just doing it in a park because like fucking homeless people are like heckling you. You're like, what am I even fucking doing here? Like just to fucking do it. And then everyone started saying the M word and it got weird. Yeah, but made <laughs> comedy got way worse during all of it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it, it got it much the point worse. where it's like, it's not like for the love of the game. This is you're just a hair above wanting to yell at people in the streets. Yeah. Some of it was people yelling at people in the streets. People were doing those like it literally hikes was. or going in the street and just yelling. And I remember like Connor Hangsleben and uh, um, a couple other guys. They went up to the top of like Mount Baldy. Yeah. And, they did, like, the stand up there and people were like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> They like hiked all the way to the top of this mountain, and someone's doing like, "Hey, so where the where are you from? You fucking piece of shit!" Yeah. <laughs> just fucking, which called people fags, just being assholes. Right. <laughs> like, if it was people doing well and it was kind of fun and not malicious, then it probably could have been cool. Some people were like, "Oh, this is kind of fun." Yeah. But it's like everyone was just so malicious and shitty to other people. Yeah, you know? for real, dude. It's like, dude, that's. I know it got dark. No, no one, enjo no one enjoys it. This is just for you. This is. You want to be a bully or like it's like or you feel important you wanna, still. Yeah. yeah. You want to fight someone without having to fight them, sort of. Yeah. You're mad that your life got taken away. So yeah. now you got to yell at someone pushing their baby in a park yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whose life is also taken away. They're also having a hard time. <laughs> They're like, I'm just running to feel something. <laughs> the Mount Baldy thing. You can go, I think, on Reddit. They had like a whole post about like on the hiking Reddit. Yeah. Where people were like, these fucking guys ruined the Mount Baldy hike. And they like, they literally, they went down and the mic was, or the amp was on their back yeah. and they would just keep talking to the people the whole way down. Just being assholes. <laughs> it's also very funny when you're not a part of it. Like, yeah, uh, it's, it's fucking like hilarious. To be <laughs> dealing with it. Funny. Can you imagine you hike like 9,000 feet? <laughs> And there's a guy up there being like, yeah, my fuck. So dating's fucking hard now, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> so I've been drinking a lot. <laughs> there's like camp up there. They're like, we can't keep doing this hike. We got to just stay here. <laughs> yeah. Stay here for the night. Yeah, there's, they get to base camp. <laughs> I'm headlining Everest Base Camp. Oh, People are just jumping off the side of the mountain. 
<laughs> yeah. Most people don't want like crowd work done on them in a comedy club setting. <laughs> yeah, right. Can you imagine you're at the K2 Magoobies? <laughs> <laughs> I got away from civilization. Yeah, right. <laughs> Run right into that. You book ticket to which Magoobies? <laughs> the K2 Magoobies. At the base camp. <laughs> it's still like 9,000 feet up. <laughs> That's another thing I fucking hate about hiking. Base the camp is at 10,000 feet. Suck my dick, dude. Yeah. Base camp's at the base. Yeah, base camp you is at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> what a base is. <laughs> Can't just climb the whole mountain and then be like, we're at base camp. Fuck you, dude. It's <laughs> changing what words mean. Yeah. It's not fair. Yeah, base camp is except I should be able to go to base camp. Like me right now in this shape. Yeah, just go I should hang walk out in and be like, what camp. up? I'm at base camp. They're like you're doing the hike, you're like, not at all. Fuck but no. I God no. <laughs> but base camp <laughs> sounds fun. Yeah. It's... I want to see the base camp. <laughs> I want to see where you guys launch from, you know? Yeah. I don't want to be an I astronaut, could. but you know, watch yeah. a ship go up or two. I gotta wear in like an auction mask to get to the like the gift shop. <laughs> they have a gift shop. Is there a gift shop at, <laughs> at base camp? I feel like there should be. Yeah, I think the gift shops, uh, the people who didn't make it back down, or yeah, all the way up. You get little like orange <laughs> boots, keychains. Yeah, <laughs> get the rings of the people who died in the mountain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Little like frozen, like frostbitten noses with your name carved into them. They <laughs> <laughs> never have my name here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, well, your name only comes when someone with the same name dies. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that has to be their name. <laughs> we have to show some respect to the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get, you know, get a little finger here and there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I've never done any of those crazy hikes. Well, yeah, I know. I'm done. I know you haven't been to like a mountain. You don't look like a mountain guy. <laughs> yeah, not much of a mountain guy. Tall. Hills. I don't look like a mountain guy. Tall hills, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can do tall hills. Those are fun. Those have better views sometimes. Dude, I fucking love sea level, man. Yeah, sea level rips. I mean, even when you go way up onto a mountain, you're like, look at the ocean. The ocean's so yeah. cool. Or like, it's so warm and sick down there. What if we were just near the there. ocean? <laughs> <laughs> There's waves. That sounds <laughs> yeah. sick. Sand. Sand is nice. I'd want to do it just to be like, like, remember in like Without a Paddle? Remember when the friend dies and he does all the cool stuff in life? Yeah. I was like, that sounds, that sounds cool. Yeah. I'd want it just for my funeral. That'd be the only reason I'd climb Everest. So they can put, to- they can put me at Everest next to my decapitated head. Cause I'm gonna be, de- I'm gonna get decapitated. Are you- <laughs> Wait, are you climbing Everest or is someone climbing it for you with your dead body? I'm climbing Everest during life, so then when everyone's at my tragic decapitation funeral, yeah, they'll they'll they see me at there. Everest. No, oh, no, no, okay. they'll see a picture oh, of me. Oh, they, just like so in you, without remember in without a just paddle. So you have the cool picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then I'm like, man, he did so much cool stuff Dude, can- before he got. Brutally decapitated. We'll just be able to AI you a quick picture. You know, you don't no, really have to. No, I want to do it. <laughs> I'd want to do it. I don't thing. think you do want to do it. <laughs> I want the picture. You just said, I don't like hiking. <laughs> <laughs> and you just got to like, you just pay a guy to do the hard stuff anyway. You know, you pay like a, I'm, like a Sherpa, you ride on his back, I think. I don't think you ride on their back. I think you still have to climb. And, and you're like, go! <laughs> They're not like, hi, Ozuba! It's not like a billy goat or something. <laughs> it's a person. You slap his ass. <laughs> like, oh! They just run straight up the <laughs> <Yeah, you're> <laughs> Man, this hiking shit is easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just get a guy. You just get a guy to do it. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about not doing it. <laughs> That's what I'm. That, we're on the same page. We both agree you don't want to do it. You're like, I want to get. I want to be there. Okay. What about a helicopter? And then no, they can't. They don't fly that high. Sure, they do. No, no. That's why they can't get the bodies. Oh yeah, because it's the it's the death what, zone. What if you have the helicopter just like at base camp and then you just start at base camp? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking. You're like halfway up the mountain. Can can helicopters get to base camp? Mark, can we look that up. Can helicopters get to base camp? I feel like that's where base camp has to be. It has to be at least low enough for a helicopter to get to it, right? It otherwise, should be. Uh, yeah, otherwise, I got some. <laughs> I got a big note. 
<laughs> for fucking mountaineers. Yeah. Die not. You got hey, get, at least get camp. the yeah. What the hell? They can. Yeah, they can get there. That makes okay. Sense. Yeah. Okay. Because then it's like we just got to make it back to base camp. Six thousand Six grand to get flown up to base camp. How much to get down though? I bet it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a one way or like it's two for one, like a round trip kind yeah, of thing? Getting down, you just have to say you're stuck. That's I mean, when you got to get on a guy's back. Yeah. You'd fucking Do grab. You grab orange boots and fucking. Lords of Dogtown at the whole way down, dude. Just, Do, wah, just carve it up on that guy. Do they charge you if you need a helicopter to get you down from somewhere? Like if you're like probably you've gone yeah. camping or gone somewhere and you get stuck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you done it before, Mark? Six Damn. figures. Really? It's six figures? If you get like washed out in the ocean and a helicopter has to come get you, it's like six figures. You're like, leave me. Leave me here. Let I'll me swim. go. No. <laughs> I'll swim. No. My family will be ruined for generations. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. And my uh my neighbors, um, these uh these Russian twins, they locked they got locked out on their balcony um two nights ago. It was Alicia's first night here. And uh two fire trucks came to get them. Just break the window. Two fire trucks worth of firemen. <laughs> One story up. Well, yeah, dude. <laughs> if I'm the fireman, they're like, hey, two hot Russian yeah. sisters are oh. stuck in the balcony. Everyone's like, I got this one. I got <laughs> yeah. this one. Ding, 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 ding. It turns out their cat. Get in the fucking car. <laughs> turns out their cat locked them, <laughs> like pushed the lock down That's and hilarious. locked them out there. But also the firemen didn't even get them down. Well, they do. Eventually the. They just like, they just like uh, sat on like the edge. Watched, like, uh, had some popcorn, like construction workers. They yeah. were like, whoo, whoo. All right. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> they did not. They were just standing out there doing nothing. One was like trying to figure out how to get in the door. Eventually, the manager of the apartment building came with the extra keys and opened the door. So that's all they needed. They didn't need the fire department to come. No, not at all. They just needed the, 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 the manager. apartment manager. Was very mad that they called. I think they. Oh, called they called nine one one. I think they called nine one one. I mean, I think they called him first and needed an answer. Well, then yeah, it's your fault. But. Then. It's so fun. I would have jumped. <laughs> it, was, it was one story up. There's a planner to the side. Yeah. I'm not. It's like the other guys did. Just aim for the awning. <laughs> or aim for the, yeah. aim for the planner. <laughs> or aim for the bushes. <laughs> would have made it. I I couldn't deal with the having the fire department come. And I'm sure it costs something. Like it's. Yeah. That's, that's got to. It should. got to charge you. Yeah. Yeah, but, it should. That's a thing where it's like, you know, it sucks that ambulances, like you get charged for an ambulance after a crazy right. accident. That sucks. But like, yeah, if you call the fire department because your cat locked you out yeah. from your one story house. Yeah, you should be charged. Somebody. Yeah, that you should be charged. <laughs> yeah, if you have like a heart attack and a ambulance comes to save you and take you to the hospital or whatever, that you shouldn't be charged for. That's fucked up. Yeah. But fucking. But this is. Just jump, dude. Not only preventable, but yeah, there's ways there's out. There's two. Of it. You can land on one. One will survive. Yeah. Your cat has to at least lock you out and start a fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the the fire department showing up too. They're like, do we gotta get a cat down from somewhere? They're like, no, 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 it's people. Yeah. But it is the cats. Like, there was a cat involved. <laughs> yeah. The cat called the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but two. Two fire trucks. Yeah, one for each sister. I, I know. That's that's what it seemed like. <laughs> like, there's twins. We're all coming. We're all coming. Rally the fucking brigade. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, uh, guys, we got um we got tour dates. Not for the podcast, but individually. Uh just go to uh what, what, ericfriedman.com. Ed, Eric, Eric J. Friedman. Friedman.com, at Eric J. Friedman on all socials. I'm going to be on tour with Craig Conant, so look for Craig Conant's shows. You won't see my face on all of them. I am featuring for him on all of his tour, though. Hell yeah. Um, I'm going to be in Detroit in April, and then in New York, New York City, at the end of April last week. Um, dates will be coming out for that soon. And then uh, at the Netflix is a Joke Fest in L.A., May 2nd through 12th. I'm on a bunch of shows, so come fucking, uh, come check some of that shit out, dude. It's gonna be good. Um, yeah, dude. That's it. Fucking yeah. thanks for listening. 
We'll we love see you, you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye.